The innovation pod was uh, constructed by Prototype D uh, for Made Mill, and it is, we call it um, a prototype of a coach house. However, we operate it as our mobile office and our digital media lab. If you look at it, there is a sort of like a modular nature to, to the pod. And the idea is that clients can order it in, in terms of slices or wedges. So as opposed to getting a full pod the way this is right now, you can get uh, a smaller size or a bigger size. The dimensions right now are about uh, 12 by 28 by 10 feet. The main structure is constructed out of steel and uh, corrugated metal and that forms the skeleton or the body that holds the pod together. Um, the rest of it was uh, fitted up by locally sourced materials and uh, we have drywall and uh, plywood and as well as MDF and LED lights for the fit up in the inside. In general, when people see the pod, they imagine like containers and like the container homes. And one of uh, the major critiques that we have for the, the container living spaces is just the box, the boxy nature of it. You know, like you, it looks pretty from the outside, but living inside a box, you really do feel like you're living inside a box. And I think the curve uh, creates more space and is also aesthetically more pleasing and at the same time it also makes our, our design very unique. We imagine it as a coach house, a cafe, it could be a studio space, an artist studio space, it could be um, a shop, like whatever it is, it's a space that is malleable. Our innovation pod is uh, powered by solar panels. Mm -hmm. We have um, a total of 12 solar panels outside. They generate three kilowatts of power and uh, the power is stored in our batteries, which we have at the back. 11 kilowatt hours of battery power. And once those batteries are fully charged, the pod can uh, run by itself for about three or four days. Wow. We have a propane tank at the back, which is providing heat for us right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, we don't have any uh, running water or bathroom or anything like that right now, but we do hope that moving on to our next prototype, majority of those uh, issues would uh, somewhat be resolved or at least a step taken towards in that direction. Okay. And, uh, and I think once we have all of those facilities, then it is pretty obvious that it could be a completely self-sustaining, livable space. Currently, we, we use it as our office, so there are some days when uh, we're not open to the public and we're serving clients in here, mm -hmm. uh, just doing client work. However, throughout the week, what we try to do is we run different workshops on the capabilities of our company. So we do workshops on uh, solar energy, solar installation. There's a workshop on the construction of the pod. We also have a workshop uh, on creativity and uh, music and art. So we get uh, a different artist coming to contribute to the mural, which is on the wall right now. And the dream of that is that it just keeps on filling up the pod. Um, another thing that we do run in here is we turn this front space into a virtual reality uh, lab space where people coming off of the streets can come and experience virtual reality. We show them how we use them in our company. So when we create things uh, or design things, uh, we do port them into virtual reality for presentation as well as to get into details. So you put on what we have here is the HTC Vive mm -hmm. and you can put it on and literally walk through the space and you can experience it. So for example, if you were in Vancouver, we could take this pod virtually to you mm -hmm. and you could see what it was like in there. And in the back space, we use that as our uh, recording studio. Because it's a mobile pod, we're going uh, to different locations in Ottawa, sort of bringing awareness to what is happening at the Innovation Centre. A new development in Ottawa is that uh, coach houses have been approved, and a coach house is somewhat of like a tiny home that you can place in the back of your house. Um, one of the core values of, um, of Prototype D is that we do want to provide sustainable solutions and that was why we wanted to get involved in this market. 
Our design of a coach house is something we've called the generation house. And it's a play on words of like different generations living in the space. The generation house plays off of this model. So if you look at what we have right now, you can think of about this as just like one piece. So you can assemble them as a dome or as a like a T-shape or an L-shape. If somebody did buy this pod and we wanted to place it there, then we can remove all the things that are making it mobile right now, our tires and the axles, and just lay it on a, on a concrete slab.